What is going on guys? How are we all doing? Welcome to another match day experience on the channel and the final one of what's been an amazing season. It's finishing the, probably the best way it could, apart from maybe the Champions League final at Wembley, Championship player final between Reading and Huddersfield. This video is kindly sponsored by OneFootball. Um, as you know, I've been working with them for a little while over Easter. They've helped me out massively today, um, basically enabled me to come here today, so I'm really thankful to them. There's some clips going on here or here, basically explaining what the app is, but it's an app. It's a really cool app, actually. I have been using it for a long time. Um, it's basically an app where you can link it to your team or the teams you're going to watch, and it's got basically all the stats and all the figures you could possibly want. It's got up-to-date results, up-to-date league tables, basically all the sort of details of the teams that you want to see. Um, it's got it for all the top leagues in, in Europe and afar. Um, currently, I'm trying to work with them to get them to do it for non-league as well, but touch upon that at a later date I'd imagine but yeah there'll also be a clip randomly probably throughout the video um, of today's game which is of course Huddersfield against Reading the richest game in football the winner is 200 million basically I'm praying for a penalty shootout hopefully I manage to get it but I'm running a little bit late now um, so yeah let's go This place just never ever gets old. My 12th time here, I think, just over a year. It's just got that big big game feel every time you come here, even when it's running England friendly against Holland. So currently underneath Wembley with Ri Rich Richard? Rich you can call me Rich. Adam. Rich or Richard? We're friends. <laughs> we go along with um, that. Yeah, and um, here to talk about his book, which is called Ooh, Get the, right way around. the Agony and Ecstasy of the Playoffs. I mentioned it earlier this morning, but yeah, I guess if you just want to talk about your book a little bit. Yeah, well, the book came about because I've been to a few playoffs finals. It struck me what an amazing game they often are with a lot on it. And today, for example, could be 200 million, they reckon, riding on one match. Man. Can you imagine a penalty yeah. shoot? Missing that and the guy going, you just lost our club, 200 million. So there's a lot of pressure, there's some amazing games. It's fantastic for the football league because look, this place is going to be packed. Yeah. It's going to be 80,000, yeah. I reckon. 80,000. Would you get that in any other country? No, I doubt not, it. Not Possibly not. Germany, but that's about it. They once had 60 odd thousand for Bristol Road and Strozier, mm -hmm. which was a fourth tier game. And that was the first one at the New Back Wembley. Yeah. Wembley, yeah, yeah. So an amazing history, amazing games, great for the fans, great for the players. I think it's great for everyone, yeah. isn't it? And, and I just love the playoffs, so I wrote the book. And oh, I've nice. Updated it, so this one is the special revised edition for this year because it's the 30th anniversary since they started. Quick something about Huddersfield. This is uh, going to be the possibly only the second club to have won all three divisional finals. Oh, really? Blackpool, who won yesterday, had did it. Yeah. So when they went up with Holloway in 2010, that was a, the only club to have won in all three divisionals. Huddersfield do it today, that will be them. If Reading win, it will be the first time that they have won a final. They've been in three so far, all high scoring affairs, and they've lost all of them. So wow. okay. I'm sort of thinking the omen suggests Huddersfield. Field. I don't know enough about the teams, but I, I think I think the neutral. I think the neutral would say Huddersfield, yeah, because they've not been in the Premier League. They've been in the First Division, but never yeah, been in the yeah, Premier yeah. League. And it's Forty-five years since they've been in yeah, the top exactly. Five. So um, I, I, for me, I just hope it's a good game. I'm lucky enough to have a ticket, so I'm just going to enjoy it. You, you, you will love it. I promise yeah. you, it's a different atmosphere to any other football match. The tension is there. As a neutral, it's great because you can just lap it up on both sides. And I'm going to go prediction for you. Penalty shootout. I hope so. Huddersfield have won all five of their penalty shootouts in the playoffs. And as their manager David Wagner said before the semi final, he said, Germans win Germans. penalty shootouts. Yeah. So, Please. what do we think is going to happen? Penalty shootout, Huddersfield going to win. I'm, I'm thinking a penalty shootout or extra time, but. Yeah. Anyway, really good to meet you. Lovely to see you, Adam. Links in the description Get for in the there. book. Uh, make sure you go check it out. And yeah, let's go and enjoy the game. Two clubs. 
pubs that well established with a good atmosphere. But this is the best pre-match atmosphere I've seen at Wembley for a very long time. Typical as soon as I come out after lunch, the rain has started. There's about an hour and ten minutes till kickoff, and it's got that big game feel. Actually, a really decent atmosphere, and it's not, and as I've said, it's not something that Reading or Huddersfield are that associated with. But hopefully, today, with the, the, the size of the game, which is unbelievable, so hopefully, the atmosphere will be good. It's probably going to be a mixture of nerves that might tame the atmosphere a little bit. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to it. Now, hidden to try and keep this from getting wet. Just waiting for Ellis, I think he's about five minutes away. And then we'll head on into the ground. Praying for a penalty shootout today. Absolutely praying for one. What's Wembley without coming in your dressing gown? <laughs> I think I'm a bit big, but I'm going to give it a go. Oh, you have to hit the target, yeah, yeah. And drinking piss, too. What tastes all right? I've got it. Located here at the Carabay Energy Drink football thing. We're going to give it a go. Try and win a match where you've got to hit as many targets as you can. Ellis, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Don't you pay us for this? This is free marketing. It literally is. <laughs> One footballer sponsor in this video. For both of us. Yeah, this is not a paid endorsement. <laughs> yeah. Just going to give it a go. Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, time stops. Yeah. Three, two, one. Bring it on. Wait for the lights. Okay, guys, if you'd like five seconds on the clock. <laughs> okay, that is your time. The struggles. It's ridiculous. I'm going to get that. Uh, see, is that cinnamon in the back? Yeah, there's cinnamon, I think. I'll get cinnamon one. I'm going to get one of them in the Punisher for that. Oh, they're there. The struggles when you're from Norfolk. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, his life. Actually, I'm just going to get things in there. I cannot believe I switched my camera off at that moment, you dropped it. <laughs> you can tell we're in London. Why not take the stairs? Lazy.
it's in quite a dangerous area.
for who goes first and where it's located. Hopefully our end. Don't care who goes first, our end. Come on, ref. literally just got back to the car now I'm gonna edit the video that was ridiculous Huddersfield are in the Premier League Huddersfield Town are in the Premier League I'd love to have known the odds on that at the start of the season probably not 5,000 to 1 but it'd been pretty bloody high they won it on a penalty shootout as I wanted and I think I predicted I predicted a penalty shootout I wasn't sure who I predicted to win I think it was Huddersfield didn't back it though typical yeah unbelievable game Huddersfield I think deserved it no team deserved it really, it was a terrible game um, but yeah, Huddersfield are now in the Premier League
pleased for them. It's a new team in the Premier League era, so looking forward to seeing them a lot more on the telly. Yeah, they've had the hardest time to get here, I think, in the playoffs. They had Sheffield Wednesday and then today, but they've done it. The fans, when that last penalty went, I've never heard an eruption like it, and I've been to the FA Cup final. Unbelievable, but yeah, fantastic day. Um, Ellis's links are in the description, so make sure you go check his channel out. Um, and yeah, also One Football. Please don't forget. Please go and download the link. Download um, the app. Links in the description. Helps me out massively, um, and it will help me out again next season, hopefully to get to some more games. So please do go and check them out, and also check out the book. Also link in the description. But that wasn't a paid endorsement, as mentioned before. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If we could hit 400 likes to end the season, that'd be amazing. Let me know in the comments what to do next season. Uh, sorry, to do over the summer. I've got a few little bits and bobs planned, but nothing major. So if you've got any ideas, let me know. And in the meantime, I'll speak to you soon. Not sure when. Thanks a lot. Thanks massively for the whole season. You guys have been amazing. The season's been incredible. 125 games. God knows how many goals. And yeah, finished at Wembley with a penalty shootout. What more could I want?